Hi everybody, welcome back to my crafty desk. My name is Sandra and today we are going to be working on some ephemera pieces that um, I've made one. And no, I have not put it in my idea book yet because um, I haven't. Anyhow, I thought I would make a few so I could get one in there and, and then make some other ones to put aside. So this is going to be, I have a ton of these um, cards that I've copy dyed these index cards. So there's just all different sizes. Oops, there's some scraps. <laughs> there's different sizes, some, and most of them have a print on them from the um, stencils. But, and I like to use them by themselves, but I also had done this quite a while back um, on one of the videos. Um, I think what I, I don't think I finished this whole piece. I think this was something that was I put aside and I thought, oh, I'm gonna get back to this and we'll do another video. Um, if I can remember what video that is, I will try to remember and get it linked on the on here. If I don't link it and you want me to refer to it, please let me know and I will find that and I will get it linked. Anyhow, I had layered it up with, I went ahead and sewed around it and I had layered it up with some fabrics and then I, I needed a place to put it so I ended up, um, I guess I sewed it to the card after I layered it up. <laughs> and this was that gold foiling, that video that I was doing the gold foiling, I was like learning teaching myself how to use it and it wasn't um, I wasn't great at it but I had some fun anyhow isn't that cute and I know it's kind of large let's see do I have a ruler that will give us measurements so this is this index card is um, you know like eight and a half inches tall and it is you know right under five whoops right under five inches like four and three quarters inches so it still works for a journal card like a nice long or tall journal card but you can also fold it or tear it or cut it or whatever you want to do but this is the example that i had done so i pulled some fabrics that i have over on my stash here um i have a lot more other over there over there and over there and over there but i have um <laughs> i just grabbed these they've got some florals on there and i like them so i thought they do it all work together and i grabbed some pieces of lace so this is the book that I grabbed, this magazine. It's a uh, McGraw Graphics uh, 2019 Fall and Winter. And this was either they were gifted to me or um, in a yard sale of stuff that I found. And I thought, oh, I really like the images. So let's start there. So I'm gonna go in the middle here. I think my, it's gonna be easier for me. And I'm just gonna pull these little staples up. And then I know I have a staple puller router thingy somewhere, but I don't know where it's at. So I thought, use what I have just get creative right and then turn it around and then just pull that staple out oh I should probably have my goggles on just <laughs> let me see get that one right there this is the dangers of working in the craft room right there you go ouch it didn't poke me it's just my fingers don't want to pull that okay there we go now I'm gonna get those into my garbage can right now I tell everybody when they come down to my craft room, please wear your shoes. You never know if there's gonna be a staple or a needle or something that's going to give you a sliver of some sort. Oh my gosh, I think those are gonna be cute. I think everything in here is gonna be cute, but it's gonna be a matter of, I need to get these kitties out. Look at those, are adorable. Um, of deciding on what side on some of these for the pages. Like, So these little tiny ones I think are just perfect for um, like a little add-on when you're layering, but also for the, um, uh, paper clips, the hidden paper clip. So, but I'm, I'm after the cats and I know that. So it's also for me, one of these things where I just have to make a quick decision. Otherwise I will hang on to the piece of paper because I can't decide on what side to do. I will hang on to it forever and I will never do anything with it because I can't decide. And then I feel bad, I guess, to the piece. I don't know. I don't know what my problem is. I don't know, but anyhow, let's just line that up as best I can and honestly I don't think it matters too much because it's gonna be layered it's gonna be a layered look no matter what and so I'm just gonna go through here and pull a couple of images out that I like but I know I will like to play with them and my, my lights reflecting off my metal here and it's just bugging my eyeball so Okay, quit being trying to be perfect. Okay. 
Whoops. Fingers are cold. Maybe I should put my sweater on. I know you should put gloves on when your fingers are cold, but my whole body gets cold. My hands get colder faster. And I have my vents covered with the magnetic strips and it does help a lot. And I actually have a heater going on even though it's hot outside. Um, it's not hot downstairs. The temperature is nice on the main floor and it's, it's okay in my bedroom, which is above that. You know, because heat rises and we have windows all the way around our bedroom practically. Which, I guess it's nice when, for the views, but it's nice. I like it. There, isn't that cute? But down here, it's cold. <laughs> A long time ago, my husband was like, we were going to um, add on. Our house is shaped where um, the upstairs is just like half the house. And then it's like pitched on the other side. Anyway, this is, he doesn't like the, the look. He doesn't like the aesthetics, the aesthetic look of the outside of the house. So he wanted to take our upstairs all the way across our house to make it more, I guess, unified that way. And we were going to um, do that. And it would be great because I would have all the sunrise light windows. And I would have that for my craft room. So my uh, Upstairs would just be our bedroom and our master bathroom and closet and then the other half would just be my craft room And then I would have gorgeous views to look out all the time. Well That's like super expensive and super uninvolved. So we didn't do that. We ended up just Changing the basement that was already semi-finished and just um, Finishing that off for me down here, which is fine. I have lots of room. There's a guest room. I have a full bathroom I have a, a little I call it my paint room and that I use for, I'm going to put that aside, I think I'm going to use these. I use that for, um, I keep that my, uh, what you call it, my big shot. There's a counter space in there and there's like a lot of storage in there. And then he put a utility sink in there for me so I can rinse off like my paint brushes and stuff. So, so that works, you know. Um, what is my doing? I was working with my kitty cats. Oh jeez, be careful. So I would have had like the best lighting up there, huh? That would have been so nice, but it's all right. I'm still very lucky and very blessed to have what I have. And I know it, and, I, and I, I'm very grateful for it. I'm sorry. So I try to spend every every second I have in my in my life down here, you know. Got to make it worth his while. Let me see. All right, what do you think? I like those. Aren't they gonna be so cute? This is taking me a minute to tear these out, but I don't wanna do it halfway. I'm, oh, and look at that, that's a cool background too. So I'm just gonna set that there for a moment. Um, I think these are fun. I don't know that I would use these in any specific journal um, or if it would be something I'm just gonna make to have. Do you ever do that? Do you ever like, you're just crafting away, making stuff for your journals that you're making um, and then you just make other stuff that really don't go with your journal and you just have it like your ephemera. You're just like, I don't really know what to do with it. I just wanted to make it. And so there it sits. What do we do with those things? Or what do you do with those things? Do you have a special journal you put them in? I mean, I know people do glue books and I have not, I mean, I guess kind of I have a glue book, but um, I do, I haven't touched it in a while, but I do my, surrealism collaging in it and I like that and I don't think I would put these in there but I don't know I always give all my stuff away anyways I, I mean I've sold a few journals but mostly I just mostly I've only just given all my stuff away <laughs> Uh, 
I will. I've had, I've, I've been asked by a couple of places in town, you know, here and there to put my stuff in there. I just, I don't know like how to set it up. Like, what are you supposed to do? Like, I mean, I guess they would be in charge of setting it up how they want it. It's their shop, but, um, like it's a, um, it's just one of those things. Like it's not a, I don't know how to do it. And I don't, it's not like a, I guess my concern is like, what if people open it up and, or little kids, cause I know some people just let their kids run rampant in store. And I know that because I had a store and it used to happen. And um, they just let their kids run and technic basically I would end up being the babysitter for them while they shopped. So, but it was my shop, so I cared. And so I did manage, you know, and wrangle <laughs> and um, things like that. But what if the other place doesn't do that? What if they don't wrangle? Or, you know, in the books, you know, little little chocolate fingers. I was gonna say sticky fingers, but that wasn't gonna come out right. So, but I meant like sticky as in like candy and ice cream and um, soda pops and things like that. Then the journal's not like really syllable. I've never put them in a shop, so I don't know. Um, if you've put yours in a, in a place, like what were the conversations that you had? I would love to know, like, how do you maintain that? And do you keep them in a package? Because I feel like it's an interactive journal. So if people don't know what it is, do you have just one like for display? Like, hey, this is kind of, this is what it's all about. But this one's sealed, so you can't see the pages and the decorations that are inside. So you may or may not like it. I, I don't know, I got, that's what, I think I, I know I overthink it. Uh, oh well. I just don't know. <laughs> Somebody help me. So those are so cute. This is not what I was intending on doing. I didn't know I was gonna see these kitty cats. I actually had some sceneries that I wanted to do. I don't even know if I have the right fabrics pulled for these. I feel like I need black lace and white and white lace and cream lace and some sparkle for my kitties. I mean, don't you think? Let's see, we'll see what we have. We will see. I've got, um, Do are any of these cards gonna work for this? So, let's just pull these out. Oh, look at that. So, there's that one. <laughs> I love this one, that's cute. I feel like I might have one of these with a bird on it though, wouldn't that be cute, wouldn't that be funny? Oh, I think this one would work also for the kitties. I could go either way. I think I like them like this. They don't look like stretched out diamonds that way. And then, let me see. This is pretty woody. I like that. I mean, and they can be like backed onto something else, right? And then it can be a tuck spot too on top of this. And this could be a pocket on a card. Let me see. I guess I would need to measure that out and see. So obviously that's a little bit too long for anything I'm going to make to do it right there. But I could trim that down and put it like there. Maybe. Possibly. I want to see if I had a bird in here. Oh, look at this one. There's a bee, but I don't think that's what I was after. So I like this one's more smudgy. Maybe I would stamp a bird in there. Oh, there is a bird right there. But so if I go that way, it's upside down. This kitty could, isn't really looking at it. Hmm. Dilemmas. But aren't these cute? Um, and I was just thinking, like, I really need to use these up. Some of them have lines on them. Those are cool. Um, I thought I had one with, like, a bird. Oh. Here is something kind of like with a bird. I don't think I like that wood one as much as I like that one. That one's kind of like walking in the forest. And also, also, I don't have to leave the whole image, do I? I don't have to do that. I only have one, so hopefully I don't wreck it. Okay, fussy tearing. Okay, let's see.
Does anybody not like fussy tearing? Or like, like not, not like to do it and not like the look of it or both? Tearing has really become a friend of mine. It really helps with imperfect, like not having to worry about imperfections, you know, like, so yeah, I think I like that a lot better. But I want the tail to be a little bit more, um, you know, standing out in the head. There we go. Like a little luck of that. Yes. So cute. Okay. And then maybe come in here a little bit more. We may only get one done. But it's so cute. It's just such a cute little thing there. Okay, so probably need to put some definition on the edges. So this is what I would do. I would definitely put one of these in my idea book or maybe even two of them since there's different ways to do them, you know? So I can say, oh yeah, I forgot. That was a cool way to do that too. So I kind of like him walking through the forest and then I would probably like put a couple little birds maybe on there and he would just be like that. So let's glue, let's just glue him down or should I put some lace behind him or some fabric? Let's see. We have some stuff. I don't think he I don't think he needs fabric, does he? I'm just gonna I know these colors don't go, but I'm just trying to see like do I want fabric with this? I don't think I do. I don't think I do, but do I want lace? Sometimes a little bit of lace just to give it a little bit more pizzazz. I don't even know if I need lace on this, do I? I guess if I did. No, I kind of like that. It would be maybe a trim or something at the bottom. Okay, let's try that. We don't know. Yeah, just for something back there. I think that would work. These birds are too big. And I feel like that could be like that, maybe. You don't I don't know yet. I don't think I like this on there. Put that over there. to look at here. But I do like this. And I think I'm just gonna do this and then I'm gonna maybe do the edges. So let's get that down. And I would probably sew around this. Like I don't think it has to be like crazy. Um, just do some. I just wanna get it down. Look at that. Somewhat on there. I see, there I go again with more lace. I just think, I just like lace, I guess. It just makes everything so much lacier. But then I don't see the trees, really. You don't really see the trees, do you? It's still kind of cute. I guess you kind of see them like that. Should I have put this on the top of that? Ooh, we don't know. Um, let's see. Man, I sure am quiet during this video, huh? Snooze, snooze. Okay. Like that and like that. 
Okay, yes, I definitely want some lace. And if I don't like it, then this could go in the idea book. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Didn't I say, I'm not putting what I don't like in my idea book because I probably won't make it again. So I need to put something I like in there, that I like the way it came out, not that, not just liking the concept. I need to like the way it came out so that I will do it again. Because otherwise, I probably won't do it again. I'll be like, ah, oh, why did I even do that? I just need to get that out of my book. And I just wanted to... Pull that that way. I want to see these little branches coming through. Somewhat like that. Over here, the kitty's going to hide it. Okay. And then we'll put some more glue on this. And I think I put it to like, I don't remember which way I had it. I think I like this. I don't think it matters. Okay. Gluey, gluey, and then some of this. So cute. I love kitty cats. I don't have a kitty cat, but I used to. I don't now anymore. Okay, let's see. There we go. I have grandkitties though. There we go. There, what do you think? What do you think? I like it. Um, I think that definitely can use more, but I think once it's sewed around and the corners are clipped, then um, I think I might like it a little bit more um, than I do at the moment. And then should I just do, let me just do these. Like that. Like that, there we go. There's a movie out that I'm dying to watch. It's finally um, not so expensive to rent it on. Um, well, you know how you can rent it like you can like when it first comes out, you can either buy them or like pay extra. I don't know. It's like twenty bucks or whatever. So I have to wait at this time. Sometimes I've bought them in in the past. Like it's fine. It's just just depends on you know when it's um, financially um, in the budget and. So it's not right now, and I really want to see this movie, and it's finally the $5.99 or whatever it is on Prime, and I, I want to watch it, and it's called, um, I'm not going to say the name right, Mafi, Mafia Mama, or it's with Tony Collette. Do you, have you heard of that movie? It's supposed to be so funny. The preview and the trailers that I watch are so funny. I laugh every time. Even though I watch the same trailer over and over again, I laugh out loud, like literally gut laugh all the time. So... I want to watch this movie so bad. I'm going to see if I can talk my husband into it tonight. But let's see. Which will be Saturday the 17th. So I'm filming a little bit ahead so that we can have some go hangout time. And some, you know, hangout time is in going in our yard and doing some work. <laughs> Anyhow. So there we go, we have that one. Now, I kinda wanted to do this one. I really wanted this on here, and I think I want, so let's see, it is measuring, what do we say? One, two, three, four, five. It's almost six, so it's like kinda big. I think I'm gonna just cut it down. Ooh, let's use this. I haven't used this thing yet, and these, these things terrify me because I'm always afraid I'm gonna cut my finger off, and I, I bought a couple, but I should be okay. I shouldn't cut my fingers off <laughs> if I don't stick my fingers in there. Oh, it really does cut kind of straight, doesn't it? Okay, so let's get that one. And then, let's see. I don't think I cut enough off. Let's see. We are at one, two, three, four, five and a half. That's still pretty big, Amanda. It would have to be in the front of the book for the pocket. And if I made a pocket with it. But if I made a journal card with it, it could be a side pocket, which then it would measure, this, it, that would be okay, right? So this size is one, two, three, four. 
in the side pocket and then a third place on the back. I don't know. So I'm going to go with it. We'll see. Or then part of me thinks like, would it be cuter if I cut like half the, half the um, tr uh, diamonds off? But then you're not going to really see the diamonds. It would be like that. And that's kind of, oh, I kind of like that the way it's like teeth all the way around. Or not teeth. Well, I guess. Now, now we'll all see teeth. Like cartoon monster teeth. Um, okay. Just, let's just move forward. Keep going. Keep going. I do like this kitty just like that, though. And I feel like I want it to be a tuck on this card. So to do that, I need something to give it a little bit more umph. This one has pink. Do I want pink? There's a little bit, oh, look, at there's pink in there. I didn't even know it until I put that under, uh, underneath it. But if I put that on there like this, then I have that, and then I have that on top of that. And that has pink, so maybe, maybe, let's just try it. I've had this page in my st my stash for so long. Like it's either gonna like use it or lose it. So we'll get a little a little touch of pink. See if this makes it sturdy enough. And those two papers actually go over there. Help me in my cleanup if I put them back where I got them. And I'm leaving the white space on this because I think I'm going to put a saying or some sort of a word or some kind of sentiment, something, or even something. I'm going to put something in there. This space right here. And I just want a little bit of the edge here. And then we can just use that in here. on hands work so there like that whoops <laughs> like that okay. Just to that. That's some glue page here so I think this um, I'm gonna use this one here So quiet. I've been like sleepy. I think um, with the weather being like like it gets hot and then it gets cool, then it gets warm and it gets muggy. I don't know. It must do something. It makes me feel like a little. Oops. It just makes me feel sleepier. I guess. be a tuck on there I don't know I mean I'm not really loving this right now but it's also not sewn and it's also um, I feel like or maybe I should just make it like a pocket I think instead of a tuck I'm gonna make it a pocket <laughs> change my mind again and then maybe what I'll do is I'll tuck something inside here and then that's what the kitty cats looking at yeah Distress the side here. I was just thinking if that was big enough, maybe that would be it would be looking at a kitty cat. <laughs> Another you know, oh they're so cute. All the different kittens. They're not kittens. I know they're full grown cats, except for like that one's a kitten. That one's a kitten. These ones look like bigger ones, but whatever. Okay, maybe it'll be the bird. Maybe that's what I'll do with the bird. I'll put the bird in there. Okay, so that'll go down like that, but it'll be up 
it'll be um, glued down for now. Maybe I'll, I don't think I'm gonna sew it. If I sew it, I'm gonna sew around the whole thing. Oh, I think. All right. So I don't know if you remember, but I had, um, look at that's really crooked, but that's okay. We'll deal with that later, right? Okay. Um, I had printed, I had bought a, a, a digi kit, well, a couple of them, um, with fairies and butterflies. And then I, was, I printed them all out on the white paper and I thought, I said, oh, I'm gonna just leave them on the white paper. I like to do that a lot of times. And then that way, if I ever wanna go back and see what I have, I can do that. But I started thinking, and then I also said that, I also printed it off on the copy dye paper and I liked it better on the copy dye paper personally. Um, and that was the biggest response was the copy dye paper. Yes, print it off on there. But then I started thinking, I already have it on that white paper and I still want to do it on the copy dye paper. And there's so many pieces to those two journal um, journal kits from that, that Etsy shop that I bought them from. So I was thinking that maybe, maybe I should, um, yeah, see, and then I can put the little birdie on that. Um, I'm gonna stick that one in there too with it, just so I don't, so I remember, and then if I need more, I have it. So I was thinking about just taking it and using the white ones and not saving them because you know what chances are now that I'm doing everything um, the way I'm doing it with YouTube and everything I don't think I'm gonna go back and make the same kits I just really don't think I'm gonna do that I think I'm gonna be it's gonna be like a one and done for the most part and I feel like those two kits between the two kits I can probably do three four or maybe even five different journals so that's plenty I think I'll be wanting to do something wanting a different piece of um, art to work with after that you know what I mean so I was thinking I'm not gonna go ahead and make up the journal with the white papers and the next time I buy something maybe or when I go to print something off I won't print off the whole entire kit I'll just do a couple of pages and that way if I want to do on copy dye I will there what do you think I like these two cards I think they came out pretty cute I'm gonna go ahead and round these little corners um, it's not technically, I didn't even use any of that fabric. I use a little bit of the lace. I mean, and that's like curtain. So is that fabric or lace? I really don't know. It's sheer. So I don't know what category that falls in in, a, in the material world. Is it fabric or is it lace? Or is it, or should we call it face? Just kidding. <laughs> Flace? Labric? I don't know. Anyhow, there you go. What do you think? Tell me what you think. And, um... Sorry we didn't do the one that I thought we were going to do, but I feel like it always goes that way. Just depends on how my mind's working. Hope you enjoyed uh, Craft Along. I hope you enjoyed Quiet Craft Along. <laughs> and um, I'm going to finish doing a few more of these off camera. And I thank you for hanging out with me. I'll see you on the next video, friends. Bye.